welcome back to my channel <laughs> it's me Zoe um yeah if you are new please like this video comment your scent of the day down below or your favorite SAS find that you found so far um in the comments down below and subscribe I'm on the way to 150 subscribers and I'll need eight more so at this time I have under 142 so not that many but I am very thankful for the support I get Anyways, you came here for the Bath & Bidericks haul, the fourth Bath & Bidericks haul. If I would have split all my bags up into a haul each, I would have had... I probably would have had seven or eight hauls already. I think seven or, or eight. <laughs> um, yeah, I have spent a lot of time at Bath & Bodyworks, probably five hours over the period of time. Maybe seven. Yeah, seven probably because if I do like an hour. No, probably like five because I don't spend two hours for two bags. Anyways, lots of time Bath & Works, lots of time shopping, not that much money spent in my opinion because, you know, I like to do some deals. Um, yeah, here's part, haul four, not part four, haul four um, out of probably like six. So I have two bags to show you, different times, not going to be returning anything for these two bags. So yeah. An exciting video. Let's go ahead and get started. Move my chair on Bath Mattery stuff closer. So this time I went to outlet number two, you know, and got some fun things. So the first thing I got was the champagne toast. Sorry, don't mind my singing. Um the champagne toast fine fragrance mist. The notes on this one are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. This smells different than the champagne toast from like a year ago. I swear. It smells different. I can miss the cat completely, you know. It's not as not as airy, not light, but not as like bright and cheery. I feel like the berries got a little bit more sultry. Yeah, it's not as it's just it's just not as bright and bubbly. I know maybe they probably changed the the scent, but I have one from like two years ago, or at least the scent relation from two years ago, and it's a little different. It's not like this. Yeah, I feel like the berries got a little bit more dark and sultry, but it's still champagne toast, still has that champagne -y, you know, toasty smell. <laughs> no, the champagne -y berry smell, so I really do like the scent. Happy I found it in the, you know, mock fasted packaging. I think this was the fasted packaging at first for some of them when they didn't have it, but yeah. That's what it looks like. Very nice, very pretty. It's gonna look pretty nice in my collection. Then we got Magic in the Air, and I'm so excited for this one. The notes are almond flower, sparkly persimmon, white iris, whipped fluffy bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. We know whipped vanilla bourbon and fluffy sandalwood. Yeah. This scent is right up my alley. I feel like it, it's kind of similar in vibe, I guess, to vanilla. Uh, that, uh, almond oh gosh the one almondy floral scent but it's a very different scent it's slightly fruity for some reason very overpowering and strong yeah it has a white iris i think that's like almond and a little bit floral very soft slightly nutty a very interesting scent not bad interesting i like it a lot um it's just interesting, like it's nothing like I've ever smelled before. Not even at Bath and Works. But yes, um, I like this scent. I uh, got this on the 75% off. Everything I buy is 75% off or close to that. Nothing over $5 gets put in my bag, you know. So that's this, I really do like it. Um, I'm not sure whether I wear this for fall or winter. I feel like it's more of a fall scent. Yeah, more of a fall scent. I can smell that almond though, kind of like an almond milky scent, which is very nice. So, next thing I got the mini gingham body cream. These were two dollars, and they were trying to hide the gingham on the bottom of like the canister they had them in. Shame on them. But I like this. It's very pretty. Um, I wish I could get the full size like mist and stuff. But for online or a pick of the store, you have to actually buy something. You can't just use your four for your words that I have. 
so I couldn't exactly do that because I don't have a credit card. Anyways, yeah, I was going to pick up the full size, but you know, the little one suffices. It's a very pretty, fresh, slightly floral scent, and the notes on this are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. I've been finding that violet is one of my favorite florals. It's just very clean floral. It's sweet yet clean floral. And I can definitely smell that clementine and the peachy note, but it's very, very nice. I'm really happy I got this. This was $2, so pretty much 75% off. I also, oh wait, whatever. I also got coconut palm. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure I liked this at first, but self-care Catherine pointed out something very important on this. That it smells like white Tahitian woods wax melt, which I have, and I can t attest to it, it does. It's very nice. I really do like it. I was gonna return it because I was like, eh. They just said that I was like, wait. I like this scent. It's very different. It's not a super coconutty scent, but it is quite strong. I don't know really how to describe it. It's very hard to describe. More like the kind of thing where go smell it yourself and you'll see what it's like. Um, yeah, I can't really describe it, but the notes on this are just coconut palm. So, um, yeah, I like this scent a lot. Um, the next thing I got was the rest of the Candy Violet Sorbet collection. So I got the Candied Violet Sorbet um, uh, cream. And the notes in this are Sugar Violet Petals, Vanilla Sorbet, and Blackberry Swirl. Again, not a very sorbet scent, but... Definitely the blackberry and definitely the violet scent. Again, it smells like violet leaf and blackberry from two SASs ago with that collection. So if you have that, you don't need these, but yeah. Also got the shower gel, which looks very vintage, like women's um, business suit, you know, like the blue with like the white stripes, that, like that kind of business suit that um, women wear, like this woman. Yeah, that's, that's what this um, packaging reminds me of. It smells really good. Um, again, the notes are sugared violet petals, vanilla sorbet, and blackberry swirl. It smells exactly like violet leaf and blackberry, which I'm so excited about because I love that scent and I could never find any more of it. So yeah, I got this one. Love, love, love it. Very pretty packaging. Definitely going to be picking up backups of that because it's beautiful. So I also got the Bee Enchanted Lotion. I feel like my Crooked, okay. I got the Bee Enchanted Lotion. The uh, This enchanting scent is a sparkling blend of iced pomegranate, sugared petals, and chilled passion fruit toast or frosted with notes of whipped vanilla and light musk. Again, Bath Myers Lotions. Whoa, that one's full. There. Bath Myers Lotions just have a lotion y scent. They just do, in my opinion. So I feel like if you really like it, the smell of a scent, it's a shower gel or the mist that's going to give you the best scent. But yeah, it's very nice. I have the mist for this. This is definitely not as strong as the mist in any way, shape, or form. But it'll be nice to pair with it, and it is very sparkly and pretty. So yeah, this is $5, not 75% off like pretty much everything else. So kind of sad, but you know, I can deal with it. And then I got some wallflowers at $2 a piece. So again, pretty much 75% off, like five cents more than 75% off would be. I got just Snowy Peach Berry. This is a very nice one. I've already smelled it, obviously, because um, the wrapping's off. The notes are sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk. I like peach scents, I've been finding, but... Oh, wow. My lip. It's a very pretty scent. I can, honestly, I can smell that cranberry. It's not a super strong scent. But it's a very fresh peach cranberry scent and i'm excited for that because i don't have any scents like this um honestly it can be used in the summer it's kind of like a peachy um fresh scent so that's that and then i also got the raspberry tangerine body cream i honestly like the packaging on these quite a bit it's not bad i mean yeah i like the print at the top at least the notes are wild raspberries fresh tangerine and lemon zest so pretty pretty nice I like this a lot. It's very nice. Um, <laughs> I think I would pick up the shower gel and the um, mist in this for myself, but I also want to get one for my mom. So I think I'm going to give this one to my mom or get one for her when the time comes, you know, for her Christmas present, I guess, which is like a long time. But I like this scent a lot. It's very nice. 
better than so much citrus although so much citrus still smells good yeah i liked it i think i'd get a full set of this along with another one for my mom so that's that on to the last two items in this bag we have island margarita wallflower the notes on this are sweet mandarin island mango and sea salt so instead of just being um Instead of being lime and sea salt, this one has mandarin, mango, and sea salt. So it's much different than the margarita hand soap I hauled in my last one. Yeah, it's very different. It definitely has that mango scent and the mandarin scent. I'm very happy about the mango scent because I love mango. Um, and it has a mango scent, so it's very nice. Um, I like the island margarita. And this is from that, like, pop collection um, from uh, Candle Day that thing. I don't know what it's called. And then I got flannel. The tag got all ripped off because I poured some, uh, poured some of my iced tea on accident in the bag and the label came off like that. But that's okay because it still smells good. The notes are fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, mahogany, and soft musk. I'm having trouble talking today. It's really nice. The mahogany kind of gives it, gives it this um, fireside scent. Kind of like pine but this soft mahogany fireside scent, and I don't know how to explain it very well. But yeah, I do get the mahogany, I do get the bergamot, and I do get the musky scent, so it's very pretty, very happy. Um, I wish they would have had leaves, because that's one of my favorites, but they didn't. So, you know, what can you do? So, the last bag I have right here for haul four um, is from the mall, actually. The mall store. So, I got champagne sprinkles. I beat myself up and did it. I'm just kidding. I did beat myself up, but I got it because so many people are saying it's good. Um, I thought it was too overhyped, but you know, maybe I was wrong. So the notes are sparkling champagne, or raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. It's a very sweet scent. It reminds me of Cotton Candy Clouds if it had like raspberry and vanilla. No, this, this smells what I think it would smell like if you mixed Cotton Candy Clouds like the outlet, the Canadian exclusive one, and the Notre sprinkles, like that creamy cream cheese frosting and like berry scent. That's what this smells like. Honestly, that's probably what they could have done, you know. It smells good. <laughs> it smells really good. I don't know why. It's just really nice. Um, I'm really happy I got this. It has that cake note, that raspberry note, so no champagne note, but it's very pretty. And then I got the mist, and I forgot to mention, for the Candy Bio Survey and the Champagne Sprinkles, I did get the special colored tops, which is exciting. Um, yeah, this is very nice. This one smells good on my skin as well. Um, yeah, the mist has a little bit less of that cakey scent, but it smells really good nonetheless. Mm, it's just so good. It's a nice, sweet, sugary, cakey scent, and I'm so happy to have it. I also got the shower gel, which doesn't really match with the um, heck of the other things, but nonetheless, it smells amazing. And I'll definitely be getting backups for Candy Bites Survey and Champagne Sprinkles. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. I mean, honestly, amazing. Okay, next, I got the Margarita Cupcake Body Lotion. I have not seen anybody else haul this, and only one other person that has talked to me in the comments, has said that she found this. So the notes on this are Key Lime, Sunny Citrus Blossom, and Whipped Vanilla. Again, there is that lotion-y scent. And if you saw my short video that I posted last night, I found this and I have not seen anybody else in store walkthroughs or hauls find this yet. And I've been watching like all the Bath & Butters hauls pretty much consistently every day. Like I literally search Bath & Butters SAS upload date and like watch all of them. So yeah, love love the scent um it's not my favorite but you know it's pretty good <laughs> just gonna deny how much i like it you know i have the mist for it i'm gonna keep it gonna keep this i'm very happy i found the lotion which is really nice and um exciting because i don't think anybody else has seen it or at least posted about it yet i also got coconut pineapple the notes for this are shaved coconut fresh pineapple and sugar cane i did not like this at first but now that i smell it it reminds me of something I don't know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something, you know? So yeah, coconut pineapple. I don't know what it reminds me of, and I'm lost for words of how to describe it, but it reminds me of something. Oh gosh. Um, um, more like a pineapple ice cream. I don't know, like a pineapple ice cream 
Oh, no, 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 no. I know it reminds me of. It reminds me of, like, um, green fluff, which is, like, pistachio pudding mix, whipped cream, and pineapple, and other things. It reminds me of that, which is interesting, because it doesn't smell like that very much, but it reminds me of that, you know? And then I took advantage of the $3 sub sale to get Beautiful Day. The notes on this are Wild Daisies, Pink Peonies, and Sunkissed Apples. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to get the Gentle Gel because they do get used up faster, but since I bought it, it doesn't matter. Um, but the um, packaging of the Gentle Gel was just much, much prettier, um, in my opinion, than the packaging on the, um, the Foaming Hand Soap. So I got this one. I like Beautiful Day a lot. Doesn't smell exactly the same, but it is a fresh scent, so I will probably be hoarding this, not hoarding, keeping this until, like, next spring, or when I can, you know, hide myself from other people. Um, yeah, I got another coconut, um, again, notes are coconut milk, sea salt musk, and fresh vanilla. And I always get the brown caps whenever they're in stores, because some of them have, like, the clear caps now, but, like, the brown caps kind of matches, so... Also makes it easier for me to find it in my collection because it's like six mists deep. Um, anyways, really like this. Again, that's my backup mist for it. On to some minis. I got the Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower Mini. I have the cream in this, not from this year, from like two years ago. But I did buy it two years ago, obviously. Just like the packaging. Yeah, I like this. I um, mean, I like the, I like this scent a lot better from summer 2020, summer 2019. Those scents are just so much better in this scent, but. Yeah, I like it, and I needed a set for when I go on vacation soon, so I got uh, both of those right there. They're both 75% off, so about like $1.95 a piece. Then I got the You're the One body cream, and I'll probably end up using this as a hand cream. Because um, I also have the mini body butter, so maybe I can bring those on vacation as well, but I don't think this will be good, um, so it makes sense. I also got the Dahlia. Um, I didn't get the mist, I don't think. Yeah, I probably should have, because I like the scent. It's just a very sophisticated floral. Got my lip. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm not. I'm not surprised that I like it because some people were like, "Eh, it's yucky," and I was like, "I'll probably like it." I got two hand sanitizers. I'm very low. I think I have two left, and I don't. They're not like summer scents. Um, I got passion fruit banana flower to match with my whole you know franchise of scents right there. It's a very nice scent. I do love passion fruit banana flower. Mm -mm. And then I also got Orange Sunrise. If you watched my last haul, we, my mom got the soap in this scent. No, stop it, stop, stop it. I keep squeezing out every time I squeeze it to scent. To smell it. There. It just smells really good. It's just a very soft, orangey scent. I like it. A lot. And I think that is it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Make sure you like, comment, your son of the day, or your most favorite find my SAS down below, and subscribe. Bye!